Hello noobs, it is I, Hello Level 3 Noob. So for today's video, I'm going to show you how I made this anime glass painting. Now this is my first attempt. Um, so it's not perfect, and I, I made a lot of mistakes. But I thought it would be useful to some of you, or maybe give you guys some inspiration to try this out, because it was something that was really fun to try out. Let's get right into it, shall we? So first things first, you're going to need to get your supplies, and I didn't show it here, but you're obviously going to need to purchase a frame at whatever size and dimension that you prefer. You're also going to need to get an oil-based black marker, some paint brushes, as well as some paint. Next, you just want to print out the photo that you want to replicate, and luckily I have my dog to do that. You then want to just secure the glass that you're going to be using to trace out the outline on to the photo so it doesn't shift around during this process. So here I am just beginning the outlining process. Now just a little tip, if you don't like the way you outline something or you made a mistake, you can easily just wipe it off with a piece of tissue. You want to do this immediately, otherwise it's more difficult to remove if you wait a bit. So after I finished outlining the entire photo, I went over my outline just so that my lines were a bit sharper and a little bit more thicker, and I personally thought this looked better than my first outline. Now I'm beginning the painting process. Now painting on glass is a little different compared to painting on paper. Instead of using long painting strokes, you want to kind of dab the paint. So another tip, you can hold the glass towards the light to see which areas you've missed or which areas need another coat of paint. Now another thing I did was I made sure to put an extra coat of paint near the edge of the outline because usually there would be gaps between the outline and where I put the paint. So basically you want to go as close to the outline as you can without obviously going over the outline. Uh, now something I failed to mention before is you want to paint the shadows and the little details first before you move on to the highlights. Now when you get to the highlights, so in this case the white paint, you don't have to be as careful you can paint over, in this case, the gray paint. It'll make no difference. As you can see here, when you flip it over, so one of the issues that I encountered while painting was this weird bubble formation within the paint, as well as smearing of the black outline with the white paint. So I'm not exactly sure why this happened, um, but I would recommend after you outline your photo, giving it a day or two to kind of completely dry. And as for the paint thing, I'm not really sure. Maybe use a different brand of paint. So here I am just showing off the final product after multiple hours and multiple layers of paint. It's not perfect, but I really like how it turned out. This was definitely a rewarding and fun experience that required a lot of patience and time. I would highly recommend that you guys try this out with your favorite anime, and while you're at it, leave a comment down below what your favorite anime is. My favorite anime, if you can't tell from this glass painting, is a Japanese film called Princess Mononoke. I definitely recommend that you guys check it out, and maybe subscribe and like!